Hey everybody, Dishnecky34 here, welcoming you to my next Let's Play made by Nintendo and Square. It is Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Alright. Um, we're gonna start a new game. Please ignore please ignore the Mario 2 one right now because I will be overwriting that pretty soon. Uh, let's name this one that. And done. So yeah, this is my new Let's Play of Super Mario RPG. Um, I'm hoping for big things from it. As we start our story with Peach sitting out in a flower bed of sorts. Bowser in a Koopa Clown car floating behind the background, and now Peach standing in blackness. And... Oh my gosh, Bowser kidnapped Peach. How many times have we seen that before? I don't know. Maybe a bazillion times. Mario comes out, sees that Princess Peach isn't there. Oh, again. And now we, the scene shifts to Bowser's castle. Where Bowser has taken Peach back into his castle again. Mario heads in, trying to save her, and the doors automatically open for us. Weird. Anyway, let's start our adventure. And I want to clear something up first before we get started. I'm going to do uh, something uh, different. Uh, I'm going to be showing enemy bios for all the enemies in this game that I encounter. Uh, like their HP, their defense, their, uh, their tap power and all that stuff. So And their weaknesses when I can find them. And... Yeah, so when I find the weaknesses, um, yeah. yeah. And uh, thanks for, to the uh, Super Mario Wiki for uh, having those type of stats available. Those are very helpful. Anyway, let's start up here. Um, we're going to be fighting a our first enemy, a Terrapin. Now you have four things that you can do um, in a battle. You can either attack, there, you can use items, you can use a special attack where you can defend or run from battle. Um, let's uh, start attacking these things. Um, yeah, and I'll be showing the enemy bios right about the start of the battle, so... Don't be surprised if there's something taking up, like, about a fourth of the screen. Anyway. What I just did there was a timed attack. And what I tried to do there was a timed defense. And what I did there was a timed defense. Now what you have to do is press uh, A at the right time during the attack to uh, yeah to do the timed attack, which does way more damage. But then again, even if you don't do the timed attack on these things, they still die. And also, if you want to use something, you have to press the button that you uh, got the menu from. So like if you're wanting to do a special attack, you have to select with the Y button, or in this case on my... Uh, controller that I'm using, it's the one button, and then press the one button again to use it. And then the one button to do the timed attack, which automatically kills the terror. Now these battles right here at the beginning, these are just for, uh, these are just for practice reasons, so there's really no need in doing this. I'm just going to breeze through all this stuff. The only real fight that we have to do is, uh, right around here, that I have to do, to advance. The two terrapin, which somehow transform into four. Anyway, these are pretty darn easy. They are weak to almost every, to pretty much everything, and they usually do one damage to you. Weakest enemies in the game. Anyway, that one's gone. Hey, I did the time attack there, good. That got me zero damage. And now those four terrapins are dead. And then we go to the next part. Go casually along here. And we make it to the next door to go to the next room, man. Oh my gosh, the bridge fell out. How are we ever going to get back? I don't know. But now, we are here at the Bowser battle. And then Peach realizes that 
and I mean Mario realizes that Peach is all the way up there. Hang her by a string. And I will not say anything about that. Don't let Bowser beat you, Mario! Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond! Alright, so... So, Bowser, um... Don't do anything to him. At all. He has infinite HP, as you'll probably see right now. What you want to do is attack the chain that's holding up the chandelier, the King Link. Yeah, and Bowser's attacks are pretty easy to dodge. So just keep wailing away at the King Link. That does some massive damage. And Whoa, we're dead already! Ha! Ha! Wow. What was that sound? No! No! no. It's a chain reaction! Hang on, King Clank! Yeah! Coming, Mario! Oh, ba no. No, Bowser. No. Fight, Mario! Fight! Don't slip, Mario. Don't slip. This should finish you! And, Bowser, you suck. And then, whoa, why was Bowser crying? Because he got defeated again? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was just going to give her to you? You're always in my way. This is it. I'm going to take you out, Mario. And fail. Fungus. Foiled again. Foiled again. Whatever. Either way, Bowser defeated. We have saved the princess once again. Easiest Mario game ever. Thank you for watching this Let's Play. Oh, Mario. Let me sorry. Let's get out of here. Ah, Mario, I'm going to fall. And so I'll see you next. Let's play. Um, wait, what the heck? Why is there a stop? Whoa! Why is there a sword falling from the sky, trying to be prevented by seven stars? And why in the world did that sword just fall in the Bowser's castle? But my friends, this is only the beginning of Super Mario RPG. Well, judging by what happened just now, this is gonna be a long, long, long let's play. Hmm. And so we get booted from the castle. Big time. By that by the impact of the sword. And look, there's our house somehow called Pipe House. And then Mario falls right through the pipe. Classic. And then Toad rushes in, slides on the floor and says, Hey Mario! Lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses! Anyway, I keep begging to pick up Toad's doll since she's a bit late! Yeah. Toad didn't know the circumstances, you know. And so what you had to do was press B to get down from there. Blah, yeah, yeah, because the game kind of soft locks right there. Anyway, go, we can jump on the bed. We can jump on the bed. And, well, yeah, forget about jumping on the bed. Anyway, let's talk with Toad here for a sec. Whoa, what in the world? Toad is running right through us. Why? I want to talk, thank you. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario. So where is she? Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Yeah, I will just set her save here first. Yeah, as you can probably see right there, I have already beaten this game. Um, pretty easily, actually. It didn't take me that long to do it. So, let's head out! Back to Bowser's Keep. I still want to call it Castle. Because it technically is a castle. And so we walk up to the door, and the door does not automatically open for us. Why is that? That sword is there! And that's a big honking sword. Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser? This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. 
It's our first step towards taking over this world. If it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world. So let's see what's with this. Nom 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 this is not the easiest Mario game ever. Or quickest. What if once the quickest Mario game ever? Well, could have been Super Mario Bros. if you... Technically, because you could use the word zone. But anyway, I won't get into logic there. So here we go. You're back so soon! Did you forget something? No? What happened then? Anyway, Ben Bowser walked off the edge of the table. For some reason. Taps his foot, and then Toad says, The bridge the Bowser's keep is on now? Just wonderful. Let's inform the Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario! Good idea, Toad. So let's save again. Hoping our recording doesn't fail like it has done the... No. No, let me save. Thank you. Jeez. Can I please tell the A button from the B button? So then again, I'm used to my N64, my Project 64 control, so that's probably why I'm pressing the B button on the, S, on, on the SNES settings instead of the... And I won't go glad it. Anyway, let's go out to the next area. And... Toad! What the heck, dude? Oops, excuse me! Oh, that both of had reduced your HP level! One of Mushroom Kingdom's famous items, I did perk your right up! Then we received the mushroom, nice! Do you know how to use items? Of course I do! Oh, I see! You're just so well traveled and experienced, Mario! Uh, now it ain't rushed me if I had something to tell you! And then Aguma walks on screen. And I remember, I came to worry that Mushroom Boy is swarming with monsters! I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please see something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about time hits? Yes. Hey, you better watch out. He knows about time hits. He's gonna punch your lights out. And the Goomba's like, eh, I don't care. I'm going back to where I was. I'm gonna go to back to where I was. You got more bark than mine, huh? I got it, rush back. I had something to tell you. That's right! We need to tell the Chancellor about Toad's duel! I'll see you over at Mushroom Kingdom! Just in case, take these with you! We received three more mushrooms! Nice! Those will surely help along the way. So let's head on to our next area, the Mushroom Way! And we'll get our first occurrence of Goombas! The second weakest enemy in the game. And let's punch these dudes' lights out. And easy to time those Goombas attacks. Right when they bite, just just do the time to tap on them. The time defense, I mean. Anyway, get two experience points from that. Um, when we level up. Yeah, so this is the, the menu screen. Got items, status, special, equip, and special item. Where's our stuff? No. Okay. A. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Wow, we have absolutely no defense right now. That sucks. Anyway, 14 more experience points so we get a level up. Sweet. Now let's get back to this scuba here. Ooh, magically divides into three. Oh, come on. That didn't work. Okay. And there we go. Time defense for the win. And let's do a jump just to finish him off. And we win. Three experience points now. Nice. And another Goomba that we can face off with to get even more experience points. Nice. Alright, and the Goomba's gone. So that's two experience points right there, and, as, and you probably saw the... Alright. Yep, and if I didn't show the Goomba stats already, well, I'm sorry I didn't make a break for that. Anyway. Punch out three more Goombas. Not Mike Tyson's punch out, which I've never played before. 
don't really have any NES emulator right at the moment. And let's finish off this Koopa. And we win. Three experience points. So, by my calculations, we're at 10 experience points, right? 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 Yeah, yeah, I was right. Six more experience points. And now we have the introduction of... Sky Troopas. Now here comes their, uh, bios. And as you can see, they are weak to jump attacks, so... Jump on their heads! And then, suddenly you get two damage. And they're already gone. Alright, two experience points and two coins. Nice. And now... And five coins from that box. Nice. And another Sky Trooper we can easily defeat. Actually, two more, but... Oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna need a mushroom right now because... Yeah. Because I have absolutely no FP left. So it's just wail away at him. If this keeps going on, I'm gonna be screwed. Yay, they're gone! I'm surprised they're not attacking me right now. And they're gone! Nice. Took shorter time than I thought it would take. Alright, two experience points, two coins. And eight more points there. I know there's a Goomba that wants to come off the screen right now. I just know there is. Oh, and I can worry about that now. Right now, let's save Toad from this Goomba that magically splits into two. And yay, HP Max Flower. That's nice. Yeah, about flowers. Um, there are certain. There are certain flowers that can be given out by enemies, and they are predetermined. Like, some enemies, like the, uh, flowers are HP max, attack up, defense up, and the lucky. That, that's the only four I know of. Anyway, um, and they do what they say they do, and lucky we'll probably get into later. Either way, there's two experience points right there, and we have leveled up! Nice. Now, what I want, what I'd like to do is find the uh, the bonus that gives the most. Like, for instance, that's a gain of 3 right there, and another gain of 3 right there. I'm gonna go for the magic attack upgrade there. Yeah, my life was flashing before my eyes for a second there! Here's a little slug in return! And a honey syrup! Yay, thank you! Alright, so now let's uh, use that right now. Nice. You know we just probably wasted it. Anyway, um, that just about does it for part one of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Dish Net Kid 34, signing out. Super Mario.